Your life is not falling apart. You're just lagging behind in one area. You see, in the last two years, I've gone from a different place in my life to where I'm at today. Two years ago, at this exact day, I was 40 to 50 pounds heavier than what you see right now. My mental space was in a very different realm where I was quite literally depressed, miserable, anxious, and had no idea where my future would go. Fast forward nearly two years later, I have done much to change that, but there are still challenges that lie ahead, as for all of us. And you see, it's very easy to to think that when a particular area of your life, be it your social life, be it your job, be it your romantic life or whatever it might be, is suffering, it's easy to think that your whole life is falling apart. And trust me, I'm no exception to this. I have been there where there was one area of my life that was particularly sucky and this attitude quickly festered into other areas of my life. So even though it was just really one area, one problem area that was just affecting me, the mindset behind it contaminated other aspects of my life because I was so hyper-focused on what I didn't have. What wasn't working that other areas of my life began to suck as well and i think that if we do some reverse psychology on when and how this occurs, we can actually transform our lives for the better, especially when it comes to your social life. Because you see, a lot of people will complain they're shy, they're awkward, that they stutter, that they can't make eye contact when it comes to talking to other people. But you have to realize that when you're so hyper-focused on what you don't have in this area, it's going to A, affect other areas of your life, and B, you're going to be under this illusion that your whole life is falling apart, even though it's really just that one area that needs focus. And really, you can focus on that one area Area, when you draw the strengths of the other aspects of your life and begin to focus on what works instead of what doesn't work. So you see, let's just say for instance, you're shy, you're awkward, you can't make eye contact, you don't know how to ask the appropriate questions. It might be because your frame isn't strong enough. You don't have a frame where you are self-centered, you believe in yourself, and you know your worth. And those are things that can easily be fixed if you do one of two things. When you take a step back and realize that right now, just your social life sucks. Your health is in good condition. You have a job. You have an education you're well on track with other goals by realizing that really it's just one area of your life you need to focus on then you can use your strengths in other areas to begin to improve because if you go to the gym and start progressing on prs your squats your bench your deadlifts and you start showing progress and you start showing yourself that you're capable of hitting weekly to monthly milestones do you not think that won't translate to your social life that it won't give you a stronger center a stronger frame the next time you enter a group event or a party or a scene or a function because it most definitely will and part of the reason that's going to happen is because rather than letting that social life or the lack of social life you currently have ruin the picture for you, you are drawing the strengths on what works for you in order to improve in that. And you see, I can even use my own story to provide an example of this because back in two years ago when my life was definitely a lot worse than it was now, my social life was trash. And it was kind of ironic because my social life was really at the worst it ever was despite having years of experience talking to other people and being in different friend groups in college. And part the reason why it was so bad was because my weight was out of control. I stopped posting videos on YouTube. And ironically, when I began to focus on aspects of my life that were non socially related, such as getting my weight back in track, posting on YouTube again, when I started working on these things and I made progress in them, that was when other areas of my life, including my social life, began to pick up. In fact, I even have a very close friend of mine. We often make fun of him for usually taking hiatuses from our friend groups where every few weeks or months, he'll completely disappear from the picture to work on his own personal goals but this time when he came back he realized that it was his friends it was the groups of people that he surrounded himself with that reinvigorated him with the energy in order to thrive in his interviews in order to do his other goals and the reason i bring up him as an example is because he was an individual who thought if he went all gas no breaks in just one area of his life his quality of life would improve and it did improve but at the cost of his social life he actually became more pessimistic more negative and it was only until he realized that how hanging out with other people actually reinvigorated other aspects of his life, that was when he was able to achieve a more balanced approach. And the reason why I say it's important to draw strength from other areas of your life and not fall into this mindset that your life is falling apart is because if you feel like your life is falling apart because of one area alone, you're not going to be able to rely on anything in order to make your greatest comeback yet. But if you start improving at the gym, if you start improving on YouTube, if you start really hitting milestones that are important to you, this is the type of attitude mindset shift that will also translate to how you are with friends, with a acquaintances with new people because just like with my friend i too 
re-entered the social scene of college in a way that completely blew what I had before. Once I showed myself I was capable of losing weight, once I showed myself I was capable of making videos, because if I was achieving success in those areas, how could I not achieve success social? How could I not achieve success or believe in myself when talking to other people? The answer is it's impossible. And that is why, again, if you feel like your life is falling apart, take a step back and realize more likely than not, it's just one problem area. And it's one problem area where if you A, reinforce the other areas and strengths of your life and B, refocus on it with a goal on what you could do specifically to improve it, you will come back stronger than ever before. You just need to have that focus. And part of having that focus is recognizing that there are other areas of your life that are going well and that they are inevitably and intrinsically interlinked with each other. And if you can draw on your strengths in other areas from sports to athletics to education to your job, you will too transfer those skills when talking to other people, when asking questions, when holding a conversation. And this will inevitably improve you and lead you into a social life of abundance. So it's important to understand that everything draws on one another. You cannot have one without the other. If your weight is overweight, if you're obese, if other aspects of your life are falling apart, that too will affect your main focus. But if it's just one area of your life you need to improve on, take a step back, take a deep breath in, and realize your other strengths in other areas to tie it back in. With that being said, do more, think less.